everyone, got another story here today and it's called A Quiet Night In. I want you all in bed early tonight, said Mrs Large. It's Daddy's birthday and we're going to have a quiet night in. Can we be there too? asked Laura. No, said Mrs Large. It wouldn't be quiet with you lot all charging about like a herd of elephants. But we are a herd of elephants, said Lester. Smarty pants, said Mrs Large. Come on, coat's on, it's time for school. That evening, Mrs Large had the children bathed and in their pyjamas before they had even had their tea. They were all very cross. It's only half past four, said Lester. It's not even dark yet. It will be soon, said Mrs Large. After tea, the children set about making place cards and decorations for the dinner table. They, then they all tidied up and then Mrs Large tidied up again. Mr Large arrived home looking very tired. We're all going to bed, said Lester. So you can be quiet, said Laura. Without us, said Luke. Shh, said the baby. Happy birthday, said Mrs Large. Come and see the table. Mr Large sank heavily into the sofa. It's lovely, dear, he said. But do you think we could have our dinner on trays in front of the TV? Oh, I'm feeling a bit tired. Of course, said Mrs Large. It's your birthday. You can have whatever you want. We'll help, said Luke. The children ran to the kitchen and brought two trays. I'll set them, said Mrs Large. We don't want everything ending up on the floor. Can we have a story before we go to bed, asked Luke. Please, said Lester. Go on, Dad, said Laura. Just one. Story, said the baby. All right, said Mr Large. Just one then. So Lester chose a book and they all cuddled up on the sofa. Mr Large opened the book and began to read. One day, Binky Bush drove out of the big garage. Hello, he called to his friend, Mickey McFloat. I don't like that one, said Laura. It's a boy's story. Look, said Mr Large, if you're going to argue about it, you can all go straight to bed without any story. So they sat and listened while Mr Large read to them. After a while, he stopped. Go on, Daddy, said Luke. What happened after he bumped into Danny Dustcart? Did they have a fight, said Lester. Look, said Laura, Daddy's asleep. Shh, said the baby. Mrs Large laughed. <laughs> Poor Daddy, she said. Never mind, we'll let him snooze a little bit longer while I take you all up to bed. Will you finish a story, Mum? asked Lester. We don't know what happens in the end, said Luke. Please, said Laura. Story, said the baby. Move up then, said Mrs Large. She picked up the book and began to read. Watch where you're going, you silly dust cart, said Binky. Just then, Pip the police car came driving by. After a while, Mrs Large stopped reading. What's that strange noise? asked Lester. Oh, it's Mummy snoring. Daddy's snoring too, said Luke. They must be very tired, Laura said kindly. Shh, said the baby. The children crept from the sofa and fetched a blanket. They covered Mr and Mrs Large and tucked them in. We'd better put ourselves to bed, said Lester. Come on. Shall we take the food up with us? It is on trays, asked Luke. It's a pity to waste it, said Laura. I'm sure they wouldn't mind anyway. They wanted a quiet night in. Shh, said the baby. The end. Thank you for listening to the story and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.